I'm Caitlin Robertson and welcome to Live to Sparkle, sponsored by the International Junior Miss Pageant. The winner of Live to Sparkle will jumpstart her career with a modeling contract with top designer Sherry Hill, appear in an ad campaign for Lasting Impressions Formal Wear, and a prize package fit for a queen. Last week's competition consisted of a photo and styling session. Now we are down to nine participants. These young women will be challenged this week to create a fundraising project. Let's take a look in on head judge, Nikki Clark. Congratulations, ladies. Last week, you all proved that you could live to sparkle another day. Give yourselves a round of applause. Well, we're so excited because today your challenge is teamwork. You will be divided into groups of three for a Facebook challenge for a charity. You will work together as a team, putting together your items. We will help you upload those items to Facebook and you will use your contacts from various social media, your phone book, and your family and friends to bid on these items. Now, three of you won challenges yesterday. The first winner of the individual photo shoot challenge was Ashley. Congratulations. The winner of the fire challenge was Najina. And the winner of the water challenge was Alexa. Now, with this challenge comes a little bit of an obstacle because you will have to pick your own teams. Okay, team leaders, the judges have bags in which one of them include premium items. All bags are not created equally, so choose wisely because the winning team with the highest bid will have all of their models advance to the next round. The team with the second highest bid, only two models will advance and one will go home. The team with the lowest bids, one will advance and two will go home. Ashley, as the winner of the individual photo shoot, you may go first. Najina, as the winner of the fire challenge, you may pick your bag. And Alexa, as the winner of the water challenge, please pick your bag. Okay, ladies, you only have an hour and a half to take your bags apart, to assemble them, to work together as a team, to contact your family, your friends, upload your things to Facebook, and get the highest bids. Let's get started. We never told them that they had to use everything that was in that bag, we told them to create a basket. So I want to see who's smart enough to take out those items that don't really match. I want to see people reuse material. Maybe they'll reuse the burlap bag as uh, stuffing to make different things pop up. And I'm looking for someone who has a connection that can network and, and they're not afraid to make their call list. Even if the team doesn't get the highest bid on their basket, I just want to see a person that's working hard, that's making the call. How do they actually bid? Is it just a comment under the photo? Okay, okay, thank you. This looks a little crazy. Why would you put the biggest item that you have in the bag or in the basket? Because you can't see anything else. 
I'm not going to touch it. But what I would have done is I would have taken the tag out of the basket, just in case you can see that. I would have layered things, biggest in the back, smallest in the front, and then I would have put the box in the back. The girls with the highest price basket, I was really disappointed. I just went in there and was like, seriously? You were given all of this and this is what you gave me? It, it was sloppy, it was lame. Just slapped it in there and they're like, okay, here's our basket. They really didn't take advantage of what they had. You got 57 minutes. So I can tell them people, oh, we got 200. Okay. I saw something say 200. It just popped up sure it's on my notifications. It said 200. Guys. <laughs> I'm not really sure why the girls are having such a hard time with this challenge. I mean, these girls are always on social media. I don't think they're really using it to their advantage. They're only going on Facebook. They're texting their friends. They're not calling. They really need to step the game up. You have to get things set up because you do all the design and stuff. Yeah. And we're going to be texting people to say people know what's going on. I mean, if you would have done it on Instagram first, then you just could have done all three. Obviously, this theme seems to be back to school mm -hmm. or like the underprivileged. Interested we are selling, on the one team, we're selling a basket. This is really important. I need your help. Oh, wow. Am I catching up with friends over there? Yeah. This is no time to be catching up. It's time to help out a charity. So it's going towards the Ronald McDonald House, and I know personally Ruby Harper, one of the international queens from last year, that really helped her family because they had to stay in the hospital with her and all the money just really helped their family. So there's really a good giving back to this, not just raising money. So ladies, yeah. when you're selling charity items, you need to remember, let them know what's in the basket, that it's for charity, what charity it's for. Do you all know what charity no. it's for? Pick it up. I'm asking. It's for the Ronald McDonald Charity House. Why don't you guys look up exactly what the charity is so you can know yeah. what you're selling it? Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, what are we doing? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. This, this is our group. Portia, Ashley, Morgan. Okay. With Live to Sparkle. We're trying to bid off this beautiful brimming over basket for back to school. Help us out. <laughs> so now Ashley is in lead with 300. Team Alexa is now in second place with 250, and Team Najita is still in last place with 220. The more bids we get, the more opportunity we so have to stay in the game. So the more you bid, it doesn't matter if it's a dollar, a penny, five dollars, it helps us stay in the competition. Hey girls, stop what you're doing. Let's talk for a second. I don't think we're quite getting the challenge here. When we're talking about the bids, it's not a cumulative total at the end. It's the one bid that's the highest bid. The one bid, not all the bids put together. So since we're not quite getting this, we're gonna turn off all cell phones for the next 10 minutes. And I want you guys to re-strategize the way that you're gonna get the highest bid to win this competition. Do we understand? Yes. Do we understand? Yes. Thank you. I never thought 10 minutes without my phone could be so like... Me too. I'm good, I'm good. I'm really annoyed right now, like, annoyed to the max, like, 10 minutes, that 10 minutes I could be using it right now. My phone died, like, that was my 10 minutes I lost. <laughs> I know one group, they kind of had like 10, 50, 30 dollar yeah. bids, and they probably thought they were like, gonna like just stack them up, but I think we knew that the highest bidder was gonna, you know, obviously. Five, four, three, two, one, thumbs up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what? so many. <laughs> I mean, I mean, go ahead and bid a million. I mean, All right, girls, five minutes left, five minutes. Keep those motivations up. I need smiles. The more you smile, the more energy you bring. You can't be so intense. Get those bids in. This is for a very important charity, Ronald McDonald House, so keep going. Don't give up. Make those phone calls. Get on the phone, stop texting. I think that they're at an age bracket where everyone is involved in social media. So I think that should work to their benefit. Um, can't wait to see who really comes forward. I think that will kind of let you know who really wants to win this. If you're not sure about something, ask. Because I don't think you guys really understand you had the highest value package, but you're in last place. Guess what? You're going home. Okay. Meow, girl. Did you guys come up with the perfect strategy? Um, well, we thought we did. <laughs> so, Rimming over back to school basket. Mm. <laughs> so, do you know your place? The second. Oh, yeah. The second. Yeah. And what's your plan to get to the first? 
text and call more people. Mm -hmm. And tell them to text and call their families too. Good luck. Thank to... you. <laughs> <laughs> we have five. No, we don't need we don't need first place. Okay, well then we have two minutes. Please put it all together. Guess what? You moved from last place to tying for first place. So we're doing something right. Yeah. Just keep it up. Don't worry about how. Come up with a strategy. Put your three heads yes. together and make this mom. work. <laughs> make it work, girls. Come on. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. In one minute, girls. In one minute. I'm going to need you to put your phones down. All bids will be over in one minute. Oh, they had, they had what? 345. Oh, they had 345. Yeah, we're in last place. Do you enjoy this? It's the matter. I'm not answering. 10 seconds, ladies. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All phones are down. Emotions flare when the judges and models review the fundraising challenge. Who will stay and who will go home? For a second there we were like, okay, we're set to go, we're good. And then now it's just kind of like, all right, well, we may go home. We kind of have to, if we are given the opportunity to stay, we need to make sure that the next, off, like, next time we won't have to worry about going home. Models and judges just don't see eye to eye, and frustration is mounting. Am I catching up with friends over there? Yeah. This is no time to be catching up. It's time to help out a charity. The judge comes over and she's like, catching up with a friend. This this is not you know like this is not the right time. Um, this this is for charity, and she throw highs at me. I feel like the judges are annoying. Well, that <laughs> starting with Stephanie, the other one that's a cat, and then Simon, like all of them, they're annoying. They're annoying. They get under my skin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really get it at first, to be honest. And then that's when um, that whole ten minute no phone. That's when we talked it out, and then I finally understood it. But at first, I don't think it was clear explained, so I didn't get it. Like if know. if you don't ask them, and like certain things, they expect you to ask them, and you like. How am I supposed to know to ask you that? I thought that information should have been given to me, but. Yeah. And you a judge. How you got a fake person judging us? It's just, it was a lot. With the time also, it's, it's just a lot. It was just a lot, period. When I was in there counting down, I was hearing what the bids were, so that was really good. So the countdown was great, but it's intense. Those girls really worked hard, so I'm anxious to find out who worked harder and who kind of just took this as whatever, because I don't see the reason <laughs> in this challenge, because it has nothing to do with modeling. You know, couldn't be any further from the truth. You know, we all have a sense of responsibility to to give back to the community, and I think to, to start out at, what, age 14? Mm -hmm. Don't we have a contestant that's around Absolutely. 14? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and to wanted. watch them, and I think she was a strong player. Mm -hmm. I think she really stepped up to the challenge, so I'm excited. I'm pretty confident in my group. I'm just happy that I had such a great group because we were in the lead for pretty much the whole duration of it. I think maybe 15 minutes left, we got beat out by a big number. Welcome back to the studio, ladies. This challenge was extremely difficult. Does the judges have any feedback to give them? Yes, we do. Keith? Aisha, I'd like to start with you. From the very beginning, when you walked into the room, you had a huge personality. But bigger than your personality was your attitude. And throughout the course of the challenge, challenges, we were hoping that that would come down a little bit. Unfortunately, you've been confrontational almost at every point. Remember, I walked into the room to talk to you guys about your challenge today. Like, you've been confrontational at every point. I hope if you make it through to the next round that you'll understand that we're here to provide constructive criticism and to help you become a better person. Just realize everything that you do here is a small life lesson. Jessica? Alexa, 
you really stood out to me today. Being only 14 years old, the youngest in your group, you really rose as a leader. That is a vital characteristic to have in this uh, industry. Being able to get in there, take an assignment, and rise as a leader, I think that is a really great quality for you to have, and I look forward to you advancing in this competition. Thank you. Stephanie? And for me, it was just uh, the moment I said, the basket needs to be this way, you need to make improvements, you hopped right on it. You were right there to make any improvements that I suggested. Girls, this was a very different challenge, and sometimes in modeling, you may not like what you're wearing, you may not like the assignment that you have, but challenges every day and in this business is about selling it, selling yourself. Sometimes, again, stepping outside of your comfort zone. We told you that from the first day when we welcomed you to the studio. We're going to stretch your imaginations. We're going to challenge you. And today was a challenge. Some of you rose to the occasion, and some of you fell flat. All right, have the judges made their decision? Yes, we have. The team advance into the next round is Team Najina. Would you all step forward? Jasara, Madison, Najina. Congratulations, ladies. You'll live to sparkle another day. The team with the second highest pledge was Team Alexa. Would you all please step forward? Girls, one of you will be going home. Alexa, congratulations. You'll live to sparkle another day. Shayna, you needed to step up a little bit today. And Aisha, you were a little confrontational. But Shayna, you will live to sparkle another day. Congratulations. Aisha, please turn in your bling. Thank you, but your time has come to an end. Yes, guys. She's sitting there talking to us, regular, but when you on camera, you want to act like you, you know, you're full of authority. You, know, you got you got to act like the B-I-T-C that you intend to be, and you're not even that way. Like, pump your brakes, ma, it ain't even that real. That's, that's my message to her. What don't happen, they get on my fucking nerves and then you cut me, because I'm confrontational. Like, y'all talk to people how you want to, and then you expect me not to say nothing. I told them from the jump, I'm me. You don't accept that, that's your business. Ain't nothing changing. I'm not changing for another season, so I'm not coming back. Wasting my damn time. What did they say? She cut me because I'm confrontational. Whatever that guy named Simon, he don't know how to talk to people. You being a smart ass. The other Stephanie bitch, you, I asked you for uh, the name of the organization on the show and you gonna tell me I need to work on spelling? What you expect? I'm not supposed to get confrontational? You always got something smart to say to me. And I'm gonna always have something smart to say back. I told them that from the beginning. What about There's the other two no. judges? Nikki, she was doing what she had to do. I've got a problem with Nikki, but well, Nikki's the one who wanted to I don't want to talk to her. Though. I'm, I'm done. I don't care about no future. Like my future is, is mighty bright already. Like this show is not gonna make me over. I got cut. I don't need to speak to nobody. I'm done. Okay. Well, we just okay. went to the elimination round, and poor Aisha, she got eliminated. I do not know where she is. She does have a little bit of a temper, but I mean, who wouldn't have a temper when they just got eliminated? I feel very bad for her, and I'm pretty sure that my mom's on her way to get it right now. We'll be back in just a moment as passions sizzle and the elimination continues. Don't go away.
our models were divided into three teams to raise money for charity. Aisha has already had her spark extinguished. Two more will go home. Who will remain standing? And the team with the lowest pledge was Team Ashley. Ladies, two of you will be going home. Please step forward. Ashley, you made a lot of calls today. Morgan, you did a lot of texting. And Portia, I don't know what you did today. I didn't hear much about you. So Portia, I'm sorry. Please turn in your bling. Your time has come to an end. Thank you. I was just eliminated from the third challenge today. I'm sad, I'm disappointed. Um, I feel like I gave it my all today, but um, they just didn't, they didn't see that, so I was eliminated. I am quite sad. I don't think it was organized enough. I don't think we were given enough time to contact um, our friends and family members. A lot of them didn't know the method in which they were expected to pay, um, submit the money to the charity. Um, a couple of my family members didn't get the email that they needed in order to generate the payment, so I feel like it could have been just a little more organized. From here, I continue on. I keep up this momentum. I submit my pictures and make those contacts and just continue on. I will not let this discourage me at all. All right, Nikki, the time has come to find out which model will be moving on. Ashley, once again, you did a fabulous job communicating and trying to get those bids in. And Morgan, you did a lot of Facebooking and working your social media to get your bid in. You are both two lovely candidates, both beautiful and both great models. But only one of you can remain. Morgan, congratulations. You'll live to sparkle another day. Ashley, thank you for coming. But your time with us has come to an end. Thank you. They had to pick two out of the group, unfortunately, and I was one of the two. I'm just thrilled that I was even chosen for top 10. No, I feel like the other group had a different strategy than us and they, it was like, I think it was a minute before the time was up, they put their highest bid on right then, so. I mean, it was a good strategy, obviously, so they won. When this day started, nine aspiring models were left in the competition. Now, only six remain. Next time, they will be challenged to create a television commercial. We will find out what they will face and who will live to sparkle another day. Okay. One at a time.